All right, guys, we're back here. Uh, we're in Daredevil Garage here, and we're playing around with a nice new uh, little arc welder we got to do a review on. Um, it's made by Say Fasp. Um, I think I'm saying it correctly. It's an arc welder. It's a 110 mini arc welder, I guess, or 120. Um, so, yeah, let's crack this thing open and see what it looks like. And we'll go from there. Um, it's for, it's for sale on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It's an expensive uh, arc welder. And um, yeah, let's see if it's uh, any good. So hold on. All right, let's pop this thing open. Made in China. And again, what days? These days, everything. Made out of country. Inspection sticker. We have a user manual. A uh, little packet to get rid of the uh, moisture. Um, oh, it came with welding rods. Welding six. I brought my own with me here today. But yeah, we'll see how theirs work. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, here goes the rod or stick holder. Nice. And here goes the plug. The ground. There we go. Power plug. Hey, he gave us a brush too. And it has a scraper or something on this side. Probably to knock off the slag. Yeah, let's pop this little little guy out of here. Oh, he's cute. Man, I'll tell you what, modern technology. Look how small they're making these things. You can almost fit it in your golf compartment. It has a digital display right here. Oh, there goes the power. And here goes our two uh, things here. All right, so let's, uh, let me read the instructions on this thing so I got some idea of what we're doing here. Um, we'll go from there. We'll get this thing all set up and see what happens. So hold on. All right, we're back here after reading the instructions. Um, we have two ways to set this thing up. Direct current, electrode negative, and direct current, direct current, electrode positive. Now, if my memory is correct, um, negative would be for lighter and positive would be for a little bit heavier. There's something to that I would have to look up, but we're going to leave it, uh, we're going to do the, uh, direct current electrode positive and we have the instructions right here. It has it on here. So this will be the negative here and this will be the positive here. So it's pretty straightforward. Just put that in. There we go. There goes the stick. There we go. We have a cord right here. And there we go. All right. Um, so, let's uh, get a piece of metal and let's see how this thing does. So, hold on. Okay, so here it is. I got some scrap metal just laying around here. We'll try a few different things. Uh, on and off switches right here. Put it on, we got a handle. This is our only adjustment right here besides switching these around. You just push it in. It's dirty. Same cranks. It's 120. That's all of it. <laughs> Let's bring it down halfway and we'll start from there. Let's do 80. All right, so hold on. Let me get a helmet on and everything and we'll go from there. So hold on one second. 
All right, I'm back. Before I got started here, I just wanted to uh, read the, uh, I was going through the instructions. And I figured I'd go through the technical specifications. Um, let's see. Here we go. And this all starts 120, 120 volts, single phase. Duty cycle, 60%. That's pretty good. Efficiency, 85%. Doesn't weigh much, one and a half pounds. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's pretty much the technical um, specifications for this. So at this point here, I'm going to set up the camera, get my helmet out and everything, and uh, let's give it a try. And we'll go from there, so hold on. All right, off camera, I played with this just so I'm not wasting everyone, wasting our time watching me uh, reacquaint myself with uh, welding with a rod. Um, yeah, this thing actually works pretty decent. I mean, I haven't uh, stick welded in, oh God, gonna be five, six years. But just playing around with it, no problem. Take this off. Usually I just put it on the table right here, but for some reason I was having trouble. Yeah, this little sucker's doing pretty good. I cranked it all the way up and it was, it just, it'll put a hole right through it. So 50 seems to be pretty good with this size metal right here. So, I mean, it's one of these things where you gotta learn. This automatically adjusts everything for you. So not much, not much adjustment as far as the different ranges for different things, but you put it on that, and yeah, I'm getting some decent welds out of this. It's too hot to. Let's see. We're getting good penetration on here. Maybe too much. So yeah, I'm I'm digging it so far. So what I'm going to do right now is just set up the camera, and we'll uh, do some more welding. We'll play around on this piece of metal right here next. All right, so hold on. All right, here we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice. Let's do one more. Yeah, this thing works pretty good. They've got a lot of control. Right here. All right. 
Oops. All right, let's take a look at these welds. Not bad, huh? Look at that. I'm actually impressed with this little sucker. Very smooth, very easy to use, good control. I do know on the startup with these, uh, when you're first touching it, I had problems with getting it to ignite and start doing the, uh, the actual welding. But once I got used to it again, I was, I was doing it pretty much, no problem. Yeah, those are nice. I mean, this thing's burning hot. <laughs> Alright then, let's try putting a piece of pipe together over here. So hold on, let's let this cool off a bit. Alright, I did some practice runs on this. Like I said, it's been a while since I did any uh, stick welding. You see, the, this was messy to begin with, this thing, this crappy thing, but I, we got it now. Try turning the heat down a little. This wig perfect. the video right here 
This thing does its job. I need more practice as far as going around uh, tubing pipe. Um, but that's me adjusting the heat right here, getting used to where it should be. I gotta get used. Basically, when you get this welder, you have to get used to it. You have to figure out what the setting should be for what. But yeah, well, it's pretty good. I'm gonna give this thing a, definitely a two thumbs up for the price. I have a big arc welder at my house in my other garage, and there's a significant difference between that one and this one. Especially mine's on a 30 or 50 amp uh, breaker. So, I mean, there's a big difference. But for a guy in a garage doing his exhaust or patch panels on their car or something, minor plumbing or, you know, uh, working with I-beams to sink, it should do the job. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Anyway, so that's it for now. We'll see you guys later. And there'll be a link in the description below for this machine. So, bye-bye.